people. How y'all doing at this moment in time? Just want to come on here and talk to y'all for a little moment before we get off to that. Let's get off to a prayer. Thank you, Father God, for waking us up this morning, blessing us, see a new day. Watch over us, God, as God is protect us throughout this day. Lead us throughout this day, Father God, show us the way. And I pray, Father God, that you uh, come to me at this moment in time, Lord, to give the people out to the truth. And I pray, Father God, that you let the Holy Spirit come to me at this moment in time, Lord, to give the people out to the truth. And I thank you for this in my prayer, Father God. Amen. Now, what I want to speak to y'all about right now at this moment in time is how to come out of sin. You understand how to remove yourself from um, sin, and it's the basic things. It's so basic. It's basic. You couldn't even imagine. It's basic things. If I told you, would you listen? Would you actually put in that effort to try and do these things? Because it's going to be a battle for you. But you got to be willing to go through this in order to get your salvation. Do you understand? From God. Listen to me. Like I was speaking about on the last video. About the music and the movies. Watch what you're watching. Watch what you're listening to. Even watch what you're eating. Do you understand? It's certain things shouldn't go in your ear. It's certain things you shouldn't be watching. It's certain things you shouldn't be eating. Do you understand? This removes you from all sin. This is how you purify the body and purify the mind and the spirit. Do you understand? And you remove yourself from this faulty little world. Do you understand? Watch this. Do you know that the sodas and the cookies and things that you eat that you like so well? Did you did you know that that was sin? It's toxic. So anything that is toxic it ends up in the devil. Did you know that? Okay. He made those things. So, you have to remove yourself from these things. Cookies, candies, sodas, uh, chips, even chips. Do you understand? I know you might say, oh, it's a potato. Yeah, I understand. If you're going to do that, go get you some, uh, uh, go eat, eat something, else. go eat some bread. <laughs> That was made from the Bible. Yeah, that, that comes from the Word. Do you understand? Go eat some bread. Go get you some, some type of sweet bread or just sweet bread or something. You know, don't don't eat those types of things. Don't eat anything. Okay? Um, now, these things is um, when you remove yourself from these things, when you start to remove yourself from these things, now I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. The first thing that's going to happen is you're going you're gonna to start to battle with this boy. Because he's going to be in the ear. He's going to be saying he gonna be saying to you like, hey, you want to, um, you want to, uh, um, you need to, you need to eat this. You need to eat that. You need to smoke this. You need to smoke that. You also need to remove yourself from smoking and drinking as well. That is sin. See, a lot of people don't even know these things. They thinking just, oh, I'm just smoking. Oh, I'm just drinking. No, that is made from the enemy. Do you understand? I'm giving you the real knowledge and the wisdom of things that you should be doing so that you can save your spirit and your soul at this moment in time. Listen to me. Remove yourself from smoking. Remove yourself from drinking. Ask the Lord. Um, but also at the same time, also at the same time, uh, it takes time. It takes time. Excuse me for the Lord. It takes time. For, uh, um, it takes time for you to remove these things. It don't happen overnight. It don't happen overnight. Excuse me for all that. I see what they're trying to do. 
It don't happen overnight, though. So that's why you have to ask God. Um, that's why you have to ask the Lord um, to help you with these things. Help me, show me how to do this. Help me with this, you know. And when you ask him, and he's going to show you, like, hey, okay, all right, since you want to do this, then you got to also put the step. You have to put the effort in doing it. Once you make the effort in doing it, and he starts to see you doing it, then he's going to come right on. Hey, you need to do this. You need to do that. And I'm going to show you how to do this. And then you're going to say, okay, all right, well, then and it, it ain't going to take him long. For what God is going to do for you, what the Father is going to do for you, is going to remove you from that thing. You don't even have to go to rehab. You won't need it. He's going to show you how to remove it. Like I said, it don't happen overnight, but it happens in due time with you making the effort of doing these things. And then you're going to see, like, wow. And then you're going to notice after a while, you're not even smoking or you're not even drinking. Or you don't even have, and then it's going to get to a point where you don't even like those things. You can't even stand to be around it. <laughs> then you coming into being what we become, what we call righteous. You understand? You're leading to that way. That is the narrow path to the gate. It takes time, you understand, but it's not hard. You just got to want to do it. When you make the effort and do it, that's why he says, you make the first step and I'm going to make the second. Do you understand? This is what he means by that. He's going to help you all along the whole entire way. He's going to help you to remove it. It's going to help you to overcome. It takes it take a little skill. It takes skills and it takes willpower. It takes you uh, effort. It takes work. So don't let nobody tell you, oh, we faithful. Uh, uh, we saved by grace and all that stuff. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> don't want to hear it. Yes, you got to have faith, but you also got to put in the work in order to purify yourself you understand pray and repent every day um, uh, remove yourself from toxic people toxic things and places things and toxic people all sin you understand then you're going to know the difference and you're going to see the difference so I pray that y'all take these messages to the Lord Jesus Christ at the moment in time. Get into some fast and praying, some reading your word, for a relationship with the Lord, communion with the Lord. Now, this is God's good news for you today. Y'all be blessed. Amen.